Welcome back, guys. This is Jason, KM4ACK. So lately, I've been playing around with JS8 Call, and while it is really good at weak signal, keyboard-to-keyboard -keyboard chat, I have found a few little hidden gems in there that could really prove to be useful. So let's take a look at a few of those today. So the first thing you want to do is make sure up at the top that your beacon and auto buttons are both turned on and you'll know that when they turn blue. And then right click on a call sign and we're going to click the relay via N0JPD. And here we're going to type in a simple message that is going to come into his station as a pop-up box. Now I see this as being a really useful feature in say an emergency situation uh, you don't have any internet or any power, but you've got a battery-operated station that you can leave up and running to receive messages. So if someone used this uh, method here to send you a message, when you came back in, maybe from cleaning up uh, debris in your yard or gathering up more uh, food or whatever during an emergency, this message would be here waiting on you, uh, and you definitely couldn't miss it. Uh, it's not like it could scroll by. Uh, with the other messages that might be coming in over the airwaves. So let this cycle finish up and there is a picture of what it looks like when it comes in and he's got three choices to acknowledge, reply, or discard the message. Now in this case uh, he chose to acknowledge that message so that's his stream coming back in uh, right around 1400 on the waterfall. And I believe this is two cycles to get this message back through the acknowledgement. And you will see that message when it uh, completes, it will actually put another pop-up uh, on my window, uh, a pop-up window on my screen rather, that tells me uh, he has acknowledged the message. And then of course I have the same three options. So next, let's take a look at sending out your grid square uh, over the system. Right-click on direct to all call, and or right-click on all call, direct it to all call, and then the maidenhead grid square. You'll see it populates that information there. Um, now, currently, I only have a six-character grid square in there. I'll leave a link to my video if you haven't seen it on how to use the GPS to get a more precise uh, grid square fed into the JS8 call software. But uh, let's go ahead and send this one out and then we'll take a look at it on the APRS website. All right, here we are on APRS and you can see right under the red line the date on the right indicates when it was uh, gated and then you can see Andy's call sign as well. Now let's take a look at relaying messages. So we right click on his call sign and relay uh, via N0JPD. Now the difference here is you'll see the second call sign, uh, in this case it's mine, I'm actually going to relay this message back to myself. We were testing this over two meter upper sideband uh, and we were the only two obviously within range, uh, but we just didn't want to crowd the 40 meter band running these tests back and forth uh, this morning. So, but we'll go ahead and send that message out. Now, this is kind of cool because you can actually communicate with a station that you can't hear directly. So, if I could hear uh, Andy's station, N0JPD, and he could hear another station that I couldn't hear, then I could relay a message through his station to the station that I could not hear. Uh, and the other cool thing about it is the system automatically builds the reply path so the far station, once they receive this message and they hit reply, the message would know the path that it came in and would follow that same path back. So that finishes up the transmit cycle of my relay message. And again, right there on the waterfall around 1400, you see uh, his station starting to rebroadcast that. Now, again, in this case, it's going to come back to me because I, I relayed it back to myself. Uh, of course, you get the standard red box over on the left-hand side. And let's see, I think this was a three-cycle transmit. 
to get this message. So we've got one other uh, cycle here. And the other thing it does that's kind of cool is it will go ahead and add the station's call sign that sent the message uh, so that they wouldn't think it came from him but, but could see that it came from my call sign. Uh, so there you see the, the DEKM4ACK. Uh, maybe this was a four, four transmit cycle. Uh, but anyway, I believe it's after this transmit cycle, you're going to see the pop-up box there that shows that it was a uh, message coming from me via his station. And again, I've got uh, three options there. I'm able to reply, acknowledge, or discard the message. All right, guys, I hope this uh, gave you a little bit more information on JS8 Call and how it could be useful in various situations. Uh, I think it's a really cool piece of uh, software that Jordan has created. Uh, KN4CRD is the creator of this. Uh, it's still in beta testing right now. You can go ahead and download it. I've got some uh, videos out there on how to get this installed and running on the Raspberry Pi. But play around with some of these features and uh, let me know what you guys think. Leave it down in the comments. Hey, be sure to give us a thumbs up before you head out. And we will see you guys on the next video. 7-3.